Learn oil field stuff. Hey there. Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Welcome back to our series on drilling rheology and hydraulics terminologies. In parts 1 to 3, we covered a lot of ground in understanding essential rheology and hydraulics terminologies like hydraulic horsepower and gel strength. In part 4, we'll be exploring concepts like shear stress and pore pressure. So make sure you tune in to enhance your understanding of drilling rheology and hydraulics terminology. Let's start with pore pressure. This refers to the pressure exerted by formation fluids on the walls of a wellbore. Pore pressure affects the stability of the wellbore and the ability to control pressure during drilling operations. To balance pore pressure and prevent fluid influx into the wellbore, we use the equivalent mud weight, EMW, which is calculated using a formula that includes the pore pressure, drilling mud density, and a conversion factor. Next up, we have pressure drop. This is the decrease in pressure of the fluid as it flows through a pipe or annulus due to frictional forces. The magnitude of the pressure drop is influenced by factors such as length, flow rate, fluid properties, and pipe geometry. The type of flow regime can also impact the magnitude of the pressure drop. Moving on to reference temperature, which is the temperature at which mud density is measured. Mud is sensitive to temperature changes, so it's important to have a consistent reference temperature when measuring mud density and viscosity using tools such as a mud balance and viscometer. A consistent reference temperature helps ensure accurate and reliable measurements. Next, we have the rheogram, which provides a graphical representation of the relationship between shear stress and shear rate for a fluid. Rheological properties of a drilling fluid can affect its performance in drilling operations. The rheogram helps us understand the behavior of the fluid under different conditions and can be used to optimize drilling performance. Then, we have shear rate. This is a crucial parameter in drilling fluid hydraulics that describes how fast a fluid is flowing in a pipe or channel. It determines the viscosity of the fluid, which affects the pressure and power required to pump the fluid through a pipe. So, the faster the fluid is flowing, the thinner or thicker it can become. Next up, we have shear stress. This is the force required to make a fluid flow in a pipe or channel. It is caused by the frictional forces between the layers of fluid moving at different velocities. Shear stress is related to the viscosity of the fluid and affects the frictional losses in a drilling operation. It is also an important factor in determining the pressure drop in a pipe or annulus and can influence the behavior of cuttings in the wellbore. Moving on, we have shear speed. This is the speed at which a part of a viscometer spins in a fluid and affects the force that the fluid feels from the spinning part. It is measured in revolutions per minute RPM, and can reveal different properties of fluids under varying conditions. The FAN35 is a commonly used viscometer in oil fields that can measure the thickness or thinness of a fluid. Finally, we have shear thinning. This is a property exhibited by some fluids where their viscosity decreases as they experience shear stress. These fluids become thinner as the shear rate increases. This property is important to consider when drilling through different types of formations. Thanks for tuning in to part 4 of our series on drilling rheology and hydraulics terminology. This is not the end of the series. In the next episode, we'll be tackling some of the trickier terms, like transitional flow. So make sure you tune in to part 5 to keep expanding your knowledge.